I was looking for a hobby. And so I picked up a Mr. Beer Kit, brewed the first beer and tasted it. I'm like, wow, this is my retirement plan now. I still have a full-time job and um, run a brewery. So I still work a nine to five. And when I get off work, nine times out of 10, I'm headed to the brewery because there's always something to do at the brewery. Pretty much every Sunday um, was my brew day. Um, so I would get up early in the morning. Um, I would go in the kitchen and do my brewing. And so I started coming up with a lot of my own recipes. I started giving it to a lot of coworkers. I knew the beer was good, but I wasn't expecting people to be like, wow, that's fantastic. Can I have some more beer? And so it was like, okay, I, I may be on to something here. I decided after a while, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and, and make the plunge and, and see if I can't do this brewery in the garage. What was horrible about it was in the summertime, it would be 110 in there. And in the wintertime, <laughs> It, it would be in the 30s, and, but I, I did it because I, I like brewing beer, and so I, I, it didn't really matter. I make it a, a pale ale. This is a honey malt. I just love the sweetness that it gives to the beer, but every beer has a little bit of honey malt. There, to me, there is no time when I'm, when I'm in here brewing. It's just like, I'm, it's just, it's just me and a brew day. I'm not, trying to be a millionaire or anything off of this. It's just, I just really just like growing beer.